Let's say we want to draw a circular segment, but we only have cubic beziers to work with. We start with a point, the center of our circular segment. We add another point and draw the circle that passes through it. We add a third point on the circle, and we want to approximate the circular segment between A and D, defined by the angle alpha. Now, there's a formula we need which defines the distance between the endpoints of our curve and the control points for the cubic bezier. We'll call this n, and it's equal to 4 thirds of the radius times the tangent of 1 quarter of the angle between the endpoints. Building this geometrically, we construct two circles centered at the endpoints whose radius is n. We construct the tangents of the circle at these points and find the intersection of each tangent with its endpoint circle. These are the control points for our Bezier curve. We can see that this cubic Bezier segment approximates the circle well for small angles, but beyond a certain point, the result is not close to circular. It's maybe between 120 and 150 degrees, depending on your accuracy needs. To draw the cubic Bezier in GeoGebra, we use the parametric curve function. This takes equations for the x and y coordinates of the curve, which you can find on Wikipedia, in terms of a parameter which I've called t, and evaluates those equations across the defined interval, here between 0 and 1. 